Sean here, an application engineer at Daytac Instruments. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to acquire pressure data using a 4 to 20 milliamp pressure transmitter. We'll use a model DI-2008 in this example, as the DI-2008 features programmable gain for better resolution and a 15 volt supply that we'll use to power a 0 to 100 PSIG pressure transmitter. We'll begin by connecting the pressure transmitter to the DI-2008. Note that we've connected a 250 ohm shunt resistor across the analog input, in this case channel 1. The 250 ohm shunt resistor will convert the 4 to 20 milliamp output of the transmitter to a 1 to 5 volt signal that we can scale into pressure in WINDAC. We'll connect the red wire from the pigtail to the 15 volt supply the black wire to the positive input on analog channel 1, and we'll run a jumper from the ground connection on the top terminal strip to the negative input on channel 1. With the transmitter connected to the DI-2008, we'll run the WINDAC dashboard and start WINDAC. Note that the default measurement range is plus or minus a half a volt. Since we'll drop 1 to 5 volts on the 250 ohm shunt resistor, we'll change the gain to 10, or plus or minus 5 volts full scale. Next, we'll scale the 1 to 5 volt signal into meaningful units, in this case PSI. To do so, we'll select Engineering Unit Settings from the Edit pull-down menu. We'll set 5 volts equal to 100, and 1 volt equal to 0, and change the EU tag to PSI. Since we know that we're never going to display more than 60 PSI in this case, we'll choose limits from the scaling pull-down menu and set the top limit to 60 and the bottom to 0. Now we'll apply some pressure to our sensor. Notice the pressure rise and fall in WINDAC. With a built-in 15 volt supply and programmable gain, the DI-2008 or the DI-808 make acquiring pressure data using a 4 to 20 milliamp transmitter relatively simple.